your notepad, take out your iPad, get ready to rock and roll. Let's get this show going. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the start of The Michael Meyer Show, where today we are going to be focusing on how to use videos to build communities and do tons of real estate sales. A little bit of background on the show today. Uh, we spent the last few weeks going out there and seeing who is doing an awesome job using video to build epic businesses, and we found the best of the best. One of the people that we found that is using uh, video in a, in a fantastic way, um, this is someone that is named as one of the top 50 most influential real estate agents using video to grow their community and grow their business. Someone that has a background, a professional background as a film actor. Someone that works for Remax Masters Realty and is just an awesome rock star individual that you all are going to want to learn from and you all are going to want to grow from. So we're really honored to have on the show, Craig Roney. Craig, you there? Yes, I am. How are you doing? How are you doing, Craig? How's, how's everything going with you? Oh, fantastic. I'm having a fantastic day. It's actually my birthday today, so uh, couldn't be better. Are you serious? Wow. Happy birthday. Yeah, it's my oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know if I, I would have like, uh, like done a virtual birthday cake or something. No uh, worries. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Happy birthday to you. That's awesome, man. Um, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for 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 honoring us and uh, and spending uh, you know the next thirty minutes of your birthday uh, educating our guests, uh, teaching them how to do some of the awesome things that you do. Um, let me just start off with you have the collaboration zone in the background. Uh, that's what's written on the wall behind you. What what is that about? Where are you recording from right now? Where are you broadcasting from? I'm uh, I'm broadcasting from my office in West Vancouver. Um, this this is Remax Masters Realty here in West Vancouver. So this is this is our um, what you I guess you would call it your, the bullpen where agents can come and hang out. There's uh, you know desks and chairs and there's a big video screen and and they've they've just recently updated this whole room. And they painted that on the wall, the collaboration zone. I thought this would be the perfect backdrop for today's show. So. That's, that's where we're broadcasting from. Awesome. I love it. Uh, I can tell whoever runs your office that that's fantastic. They have that on the wall. That's like, uh, they get it. So awesome. Good stuff. Um, so, all right. Yeah. Well, today, today we're going to collaborate and uh, you're going to uh, help us educate our guests who want to grow their businesses and use video to do it. So uh, I told everyone a little bit about you, but if we could just spend, you know, just a couple of minutes, tell us what's your background, where you came from, television background or film background where you are and how you got to where you are today. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I, I am a, a real estate agent with Remax Masters Realty in West Vancouver, uh, and I'm in my seventh year in the business right now. So I've got six years under my belt. We're moving into my seventh year. Prior to becoming a real estate agent, I, um, I was, well, I still am a, a film and television actor, although I haven't acted in, in approximately three years, much to the chagrin of my, uh, my agent. Um, but uh, I, I do come from uh, a film and television background. I, I was professionally at uh, one of the best theater schools in this country here in Canada, Studio 58. And um, last, last year, basically last year around uh, the summer, June of last year was when uh, I attended uh, the video boot camp with, with Michael Thorne and Jesse Peters. And, and that is where things completely turned around for me. And I, I will speak to that more in a, in a little bit, but that's, that's essentially who I am. I'm, uh, I'm a husband. Uh, I'm a father of a, a beautiful 12 year old boy. Nice. And um, yeah, I'm loving life here in Vancouver. Awesome. And so how did you get, I mean, you obviously had some film background, but uh, you know, how did you, 
How did you start getting involved with video for real estate applications? You know, how long have you been doing it for? What did you start doing? You know, how did you get involved? Yeah, that's, no, it's a great question. Um, I think uh, it started a few years ago. I, I, I've been a BombBomb customer for a number of years now. Um, by the way, I mean, if, if, if you're an agent, you're out there right now listening to this show and you're thinking to yourself, yeah, I want to, you know, uh, incorporate more video into my business and you're not a BombBomb subscriber already, sign up immediately. It is the best and fastest way for you to start engaging with your clients and your database using video. It is a phenomenal platform and uh, I'd recommend it in a heartbeat to anyone. So I'd been using BombBomb for a number of years uh, and had some great success with the one-to-one -one videos to my clients. I would send out a monthly market uh, video update every, every month. And, uh, and those things were, were working well for me, but I, I wasn't even utilizing the platform to its fullest. Uh, and I wasn't aware that I wasn't using that platform to its fullest until I attended the, the video bootcamp with, with Michael Thorne and Jesse Peters. And it was during that, those two days that um, I sat there and I knew I knew sitting there over those two days that this was going to change my real estate career forever. Uh, and the thing that dawned on me the most during those two days was at no time in the history of real estate has every single agent had access to this. And of course, you're wondering what this is. Every single agent today has access to their own film studio and television network. Just think about that for a second from a marketing perspective. What would you do with your own TV studio and, and film network? And the best part is, is that that film studio and television network is sitting in the camera on the back of your phone. Everyone has a smartphone and this is it. It's, it's right here. So that was the, the, the biggest takeaway for me, this sort of aha moment that I had during that that video boot camp. Awesome, and, and as you've been talking, I've been uh, publishing you on my Snapchat channel and my Instagram channel. <laughs> so we got lots of channels flipping back here, so that's why I was looking down. Um, awesome, so I've heard such amazing things about that boot camp, like crazy amazing things, and uh, um, yeah. they're amazing, amazing individuals, um, so everybody should look into that. Um, so, all right, so you attended the boot camp, um, what was the biggest kind of things you learned there? Was it, it was it the editing? Was it, um, uh, you know, what, aside from fundamentally understanding the power that you now had with this device, um, what, what was your biggest kind of takeaways? Did you, did you learn how to edit while you were in that, in that boot camp? They do teach you uh, a little bit about editing in the, the boot camp. I had zero experience with editing. You know, I might be very comfortable in front of the camera, but I had absolutely no experience with editing. And that was my biggest fear, um, you know, moving forward. But sitting there, once I realized that I have my own film studio and television network, not only that, but for the past six years, I've actually kind of denied, you know, my film and television background. Um, didn't really mention it to a lot of people because I felt like I had to prove myself as the business agent, you know, the real estate agent, the business person. And if people thought that I was a, a film and television actor, they may not take me seriously. And it was during those two days that, that my two worlds collided and I realized this <laughs> is the most amazing opportunity for me because I am a trained actor, which is, which is great. Uh, it, it means I'm comfortable in front of the camera, but I, the marriage of my of my two careers uh, suddenly came into blinding, you know, focus for me. And and I knew absolutely crystal clear what I needed to do. Now, one of the things that that they talked about during the boot camp, one of the easiest ways to start engaging with uh, your community using video is doing what they call the thirty and thirty challenge. This was um, doing shooting 30 videos in 30 days, yeah. talking about your favorite places in your community. So wherever you live, I live in North Vancouver. So I called my video series, my 30 favorite places in North Vancouver. And 
when when they when they sort of presented this uh, option to us, I immediately knew that I could do that. Not only could I do it, but I would enjoy doing it. And after the boot camp, I was just fired up. I was I was you know I was on fire. I, I just wanted to dive in head first, and um, I knew. I wanted to get a slick intro outro like most of them had for you know for their videos uh so i took their advice i went on fiverr found someone great she's in the uk and, and she built my my intro outro for me um and i knew i didn't want to buy a lot of equipment because i'd have to learn how to use it first of all um and and you know there were so many things that came up for me that I knew were ob that could be obstacles to get in my way. And what I knew was if I didn't simply just go out and execute, I'd find, you know, a million reasons not to do what I needed to do. So I had, uh, I had my iPhone five at the time <laughs> and uh, I invested in a road lav mic so that I could get some decent audio. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got a little video stabilizer called smooth and, that was what I shot my 30 videos in 30 days on. And, um, you know, and where did you post it was amazing. Videos? Well, I uploaded the videos to YouTube, although, you know, um, it, it, that the YouTube platform wasn't where most people were watching those videos. Um, most of the people were watching them on Facebook. Now, the thing about Facebook is you, you can't post what well, you can, you can post a, a link from YouTube to Facebook, but, you're not going to get the same kind of engagement because Facebook wants people to stay on Facebook. They don't want to go, you know, uh, for someone to go out of the platform. So you you post the videos natively in Facebook. Uh, and that was one of my mistakes initially. The first two videos I posted were just links from YouTube. And uh, Michael Thorne quickly <laughs> sent me a, an email saying that you're not going to get the same kind of engagement. Post natively in Facebook. And uh, you can so upload. Awesome that you're so individually involved with you. That's really cool. Michael Florence, an yeah. awesome guy. You know, I can't. You know, uh, I've had him on. I the know show. you've had. I, I know you've had them on the show. And absolutely, I know you've interviewed them. But I can't say enough amazing things about Jesse Peters and, and Michael Thorne. These are agents who are out there doing amazing things on their own. In their own right, they're rock star real estate agents. Yet, over the last number of years, they've found a way, uh, and and they spend huge amounts of time engaging with other agents. And you know, they're not out to sell anybody anything. They're they're doing this so that they can raise the bar collectively in the industry. And uh, they're they're just beautiful human beings. Yeah, no, definitely, hundred percent agreed. Um, so, all right, so let's jump into for the next 15 minutes, we want to go for some hard, solid content. So uh, a couple of questions for you, right? So um, how many videos do you think you've done, um, you know, uh, since you've been in the video game? Like uh, when I see videos like uh, neighborhood, um, business, um, community oriented, define what a community oriented video it is and, and give us an idea of how much of it you do. Sure. So when when I set out to do my thirty and thirty video I, uh, series, I had the examples shown to us by Michael Thorne and Jesse Peters in the video boot camp, and um, I knew I wanted to do something a little different. I, I knew that I wanted to go into those businesses and talk to the owners. Or this, I didn't want this to be about me. I wanted it to be about them. So that's what what I did, and and the response was phenomenal. You know, the business owners. Someone wanted to come in, film their business, showcase you know the amazing things that they did, and um, and share their stories. And that was one of the biggest things that I learned uh, during uh, during that month shooting was everybody had a story to tell. And these were businesses that I'd been to, that I loved, you know, loved going to, and yet I didn't know these these people's stories. And when I found out their stories, it made me love them even more. And I knew that. Anyone watching those videos would, you know, would love them even more. And uh, if they hadn't been to that particular place or business, they would want to go there. So, since then, um, I branched out and started shooting some more industry-specific videos, um, things like uh, mortgage, uh, you know, mortgage brokers, lawyers, 
um, contractors, that sort of thing, where my clients on in day to day business need to know or would you need to use these services. So those videos have been doing extremely well. And uh, and I'm I just I'm launching a new video series called My Favorite Humans in Vancouver. That's cool. um, that's my next community video uh, series because I wanted to take take a step away from sort of shining the light on businesses and focus more on the, the amazing people in this in the city that that are doing incredible things. That's awesome. I love it. I love how you're focusing on the human side of it. So, all right. So you're going out there and you're doing all these videos. Um, and um, is this something that you're doing on a weekly basis, on a daily basis? And this is a big question I have. I get this question a lot from people uh, is that um, you have people that are out there and they're trying to grow their real estate business. They're trying to do transactions. They're trying to build contact databases. They're trying to do all these businesses. And then they, it's hard to balance the going out to getting videos while at the same time, you know, hitting the phones, cold calling, so to speak. Right. Uh, how do you manage your time? Number one. Uh, and, and how much of it do you actually do? That's a uh, fantastic questions. And, and you're absolutely right, Michael. I mean, it's a huge balancing act trying to, to do all of these things. However, in our business as real estate agents, we need to be doing something to generate business on a daily basis. So my question would be to, you know, agents out there, well, what is it that you're doing on a daily basis? that you would consider lead generation? You know, are you uh, cold calling people? Are you just calling your database? Are you emailing people or doing uh, farming, that, that kind of thing? So what is it that you're doing? And then think about what the ROI on those particular projects are. Um, I can tell you that the ROI from, you, you know, using videos since, uh, since I started last summer just has been Phenomenal! It's been explosive. Uh, the tell things that have happened to me. Speak to that a little bit. Tell us. Give us an example of like how you got a client from a video. And let me break it down a little bit further. You can have sure. someone that sits there and cold calls all day, and they're calling owners, looking for an owner. You're looking to sell. You're looking to sell. You're looking to sell. And a percentage yeah. of the people they call are going to be looking to sell. It's a really hard thing to do, but a percentage of them are going to be looking to sell. And they can figure out, okay, if I dial this many people, I get to this many people. So I'm curious. Um, I'm obviously an advocate of video. I was also on the bomb bomb influencer list. Like I'm obviously into video. We're on, we're on video now, right? Um, yeah. I'm into video. Um, I'm also into some of these other things as well. But I love hearing how people mesh those two worlds, or or just say, hey, I don't even do that cold calling thing. Like I do it all video, and if so, how? Sure. So in in about September, after I'd done the the thirty and thirty series. Um, I started shooting, as I said, the more industry specific videos. And the very first one I did was with a mortgage broker because we had some um, mortgage rule changes coming into effect uh, in a few months. And I knew that this was going to impact everybody here in a dramatic way. Nobody was talking about it. And, uh, you know, I called up this, this amazing mortgage broker here on the North Shore, Karen Gibbard, and I said to her, I'd love to interview you showcase you and your business, but talk specifically about these mortgage rule changes. We shot that video. I posted it to Facebook, sent it out to all of my uh, my database. One video because of the mortgage rule changes and because of the, the implications and impact it was going to have on uh, people buying and selling real estate here. Four or five clients called me and immediately said, we need to buy now. So I, and I, was, I started working with those clients through the fall, um, found them all homes. And that was just from that, that one video. But my, my absolute favorite story, you're going to love this, Michael. Um, had had a, to a client, they were in Hong Kong, so they never met me. Okay. Contacted me last February, a specific property. Now, anytime anyone contacts me initially, so if it's a lead from my website or whatever, the very first thing that they get from me is a is a bomb bomb video, hmm. a bomb bomb video saying hi, talking about what their inquiry was, providing that information. But it's always a video so that they get to see who I am, and and connect with me. Never heard from them again. 
and uh, I tried emailing them. Sorry, just to take you a step back for a second. So if I go onto your website right now, okay, um, let's yeah. throw up your website right here. So if I were to go on to, uh, to your website, pragveroni.ca, right? For anyone who wants to go check it out, it's a good website. Uh, and I go and I click on, uh, you know, buy a home or something like that, right? Um, and, uh, and I fill out a, uh, please provide your buying criteria. I'm going to get an email. I'm going to get a video from you as a response. Yeah. So if that email comes to me, whatever your inquiry is, I'm going to, I'm going to create a video speaking to you. So if you, if you send me an email today about a home here in Vancouver, bomb where, you know, wherever I am, whenever I had time, I'd say, Hey, Michael, so nice that you reached out through my website on this particular property. Here's all the information in this email, you know, links to my, my website, uh, tax reports, whatever the information was that you requested. And, uh, you know, I, I always try and follow that with a little call to action, you know, love to uh, assist you in your home search needs. So let's, let's meet up once you've had a chance to review this information, uh, either give me a call or we can meet in person. So that's, that's the very first contact. And, and, and so, you know, one of the things they talk about all the time is speed to lead, right? How fast you get back to someone when they inquire. So just a, a process question for you. If I go and search on your website, click on a property, you're out right now doing this awesome interview with me. Somebody's on your website inquiring. It's going to obviously take you at least 30 minutes minimum to get back to them because you got to go pull out your phone. Da, 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 da. So how do you handle that? in terms of the fast response and also the video auto response kind of thing. Bomb bomb's going to love this <laughs> because <laughs> that is the platform bomb bomb. So if someone, if someone sent me a message right now on a, on a property, I'm going to get that. Obviously I'm busy right now. So I, I'm not, I can't answer that right now. I'm on the Michael Myers show. I'm not going to answer this, <laughs> but the moment I'm done, uh, I can just open my a cool demo, but yeah, sorry, keep going. <laughs> the moment I'm done, I, I can open up uh, my bomb bomb app. I can shoot a quick video saying, Hey, Michael, I got your message regarding this property. I'm just at the office at the moment, you know, in meetings. Once I get a chance to get that information to you, I certainly will. But I wanted to send you this quick video to let you know that I, I got your information and I'm on it as soon as possible. That's it. So it doesn't take very long. I mean, whether you want to respond via text to someone or via email to someone, it's just as easy to whip out your phone with bomb bomb and record that, that video and hit send. And bomb bomb is brilliant because bomb bomb plops that video into a, a nice templated branded email format for you. So you, all you have to do is just record hit send, and off it goes. They get a nice, you know, slick looking uh, email from you. So yeah, yeah. That's, that's awesome. how that's how I would do it. Okay, awesome, perfect. So okay, so uh, you have these, uh, you know, you're always using Bomb Bomb to respond to online leads on your website, um, and you're balancing mm -hmm. your business. So I guess my question to you is, um, uh, I'll tell you the philosophy that 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 I have. Uh, you know, my coaching philosophy is that you can't do anything in a vacuum. Video is Awesome. Video, in, engaging people with video is obviously significantly better than phone, text, email. It's real, it's live. There's millions of data points right here that your brain is taking in from my face, okay? Um, and, um, and so it's obviously a great thing. At the same time, what I found the most effective was that people that build a database and market to that database with video. So for example, you gave an example of someone that inquired on a property. So they came into your database, you engage them with video or a mortgage broker that you interviewed. And then you shot out that video to your database and then four people engaged or six, whatever it is. And you did tremendous deals. You may not have done those deals without the video. The video was a critical component, but uh, it seems to me like you do also believe and work on building that database. You know, it's not like the database comes from the video. Uh, maybe some of it does, but is is that a fair assessment in terms of how you run your video business? Yeah, I, I would say so. I mean, my philosophy is the the video content, as long as I'm creating content that's fantastic and relevant to people, um, I know that, that business is going to come. So the brilliant thing 
for me now is that I, I don't have to wake up anymore thinking about, well, what do I have to do today for lead generation? I'm sending out, whether it's bomb bomb one-to-one -one videos or, you know, thinking about what the video series I'm shooting next or who I'm interviewing next. Um, that's all part of my business and all, all of the, you know, all of the clients and customers who are watching these things are getting in touch with me as a result of that. So the video is reinforcing my brand, my presence, my knowledge, my knowledge about the community, my knowledge about what's happening in, in real estate. So for example, with the mortgage broker, the specific mortgage rule changes that were happening. And, you know, so in the last two, uh, two months of 2017, you know, did over $75,000 in gross commissions in, in what are typically slow months. And every single one of those deals was attributed to a video that I shot. So, Fantastic. I mean, that's amazing ROI. Yeah, yeah, that is amazing ROI. Um, hey guys, um, we actually have a question from one of our viewers. Awesome, before um, we jump to a question, first of all, hi Jennifer. Hello. Jennifer, <laughs> my rock star co-host here at Meyer. Uh, she's here hey, to, Jennifer. You know, to bring up the questions and, uh, you know, um, she's just awesome there. And Jennifer, thank you so much for, for joining us on the show and uh, building the questions. Of course. Happy. Happy to be here. Um, first of all, happy birthday, Craig. We're getting a lot of birthday shout outs for you. Um, oh, and the question, you. of course. And the question we have from Roxanne is what's your greatest challenge in using video marketing and what would be your ideal solution to fix it? So can you can you just speak a little louder? I'm having trouble yeah, hearing you. Absolutely. Um, Roxanne asks, what's your greatest challenge in using video marketing and what would be your ideal solution to fix it? My greatest challenge in video marketing um, obviously is just finding time to shoot the content. Um, there's a huge learning curve with, with editing, obviously, but you don't need to let that stand in your way. I would say for anyone who's not currently using video in, the, in their business, sign up with BombBomb Bomb immediately because it's the fastest, easiest way for you to start engaging using video. From there, you can then branch out if you want to start doing community videos. Um, and this is, this is all you need. You just need your phone. Maybe invest in a, in a lav mic so that you can capture some good audio. But that's it. That's really all you need. And you can you can upload that that content that you've shot on your phone to any of your social media platforms. As, as I said at the beginning of the show, at no time in history has every agent been given access to their own film studio and television network. And I mean, what an amazing opportunity this is for for real estate agents. You know, traditional forms of advertising is dead. Right. But the fact that traditional forms of advertising is dead means there's this massive opportunity for, for real estate agents to leverage video. Every online retailer is leveraging video. Why aren't real estate agents? Yeah, that's, that's fantastic advice. Um, Craig, if anybody, first of all, just to take a second here, for anybody that wants to reach out to you, learn more from you, um, uh, you know, just follow your, your awesome leadership and your awesome ways, what are the best ways for people to reach out to you? You can connect with me. Uh, my 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 mobile numbers on <laughs> on every social media site. We we have no anon anonymity, right, Michael? I mean, anyone yeah. can get a hold of us at any time. So uh, you can you can call me. You can email me. You can text me. Whatever you, whatever you like. Awesome. Anything awesome, great that you have coming up in the next year? Cool videos, cool video ideas. I know that you uh, you just mentioned. Uh, this uh, this great concept on, uh, on 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 humans. My favorite humans. Yeah, my favorite. In Vancouver. I, I just 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 the name of that gives me tingles. That's going to be awesome. When you know when I when I uh, thought about what I wanted to do next, when I did the thirty and thirty, my you know uh, in in North Van, I was sure that every other agent was going to jump on this and do one for West Vancouver, do one for, for downtown Vancouver or whatever. Nobody's, nobody's done anything. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I, I was thinking, well, should I, do, should I do Vancouver? Um, of course, you know, shooting 30 videos in 30 days is very, it's time consuming. Right. Yeah. Um, and I, I got to work. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I thought, well, what was my biggest takeaway from the 30 and 30? And what it was, was the stories that people had to tell, right? 
And it was the stories that really connected with the community at large. I mean, over 120,000 people saw those videos in the first month, which, which blew me away. Uh, I don't even know what the count is now, but um, when I thought about the stories, immediately that popped into my head that, that uh, my favorite humans in Vancouver, I don't know where it came from. It just popped into my head and I, and I said, that's what I want to do next. I want to showcase, you know, these amazing people. Uh, I shot my first one uh, um, last week. I haven't, haven't had a chance to edit it yet, but so that will be coming in, in the next week uh, with Mark Brand. And uh, I'm really, really excited about that. But just, Michael, just to speak briefly about, you, you were asking what's coming for me over the next year. Let, let, let me just recap what's happened in six months since I started embracing video in every aspect of my real estate career. Because six months ago, you didn't know about me, Michael Meyer. I mean, I, I was this little agent here in, in North Vancouver, you know, uh, steadily building my business over the last six years. No, nobody knew about me. And that was, that was the thing um, that, that the concept I grasped immediately during this video boot camp was I had a voice. I just didn't know how to use my voice in a way that could connect me with a larger audience. And video is, is the way to do it. But in the last six months, two months after shooting the 30 and 30, I was nominated for the video influencers list, which, I mean, it blew me away. The fact that I was even nominated and then made the top 10 list for community videos was just a huge honor. I mean, the people on those, the, that list is, you know, they're, they're incredible. And so just, just that alone was phenomenal. Then of course the business, right? Uh, all the business through the fall, the last quarter, as a, as a direct result of the video that I was using, shortly after the video influencers list came out, you reached out to me and said, hey, I'd love to have you on my show, which again, you know, once I found out who Michael Meyer was, the first thing that popped in my head was, why does this guy want me on his show? Um, <laughs> so thank you. You know, it's a huge right, honor to right, be well, on your the show. Reason, the reason that I wanted you on the show is because um, I'm going out there and I'm telling people, you want to grow an epic business, you need systems, you need branding. The easiest way to brand is to give value. The easiest way to give value is to you Vizio to do it. And so I love going out there looking for people who, um, you know, were known and now they got a name for themselves. And Bomb Bomb put together that fabulous list. They did an awesome job. So we reached out to a lot of people on that list. And I owe, you know, Bomb Bomb gets a lot of credit for this video. Uh, and, and I use Bomb Bomb, of course, like a lot. Um, so, you know, yeah. everybody should be using it. Um, but, you know, but that's what it is. And, and you're obviously a smart guy uh, and, and you're doing things the right way. Uh, and it's just nice to show people that for those people who think that they can't do it, they don't have time to do it, it's not going to help them or whatever it is. I want to show them examples of if you're not doing it because you think that you can't, pardon my French, but you're bullshitting yourself. So, you know, this is kind of throwing it in the face. If you want to do it, you can do it. Um, and I love the fact Absolutely. that you're not saying you can do it because you have a film background. You're like, I tried to hide that for a while. And that's a phenomenal thing. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the, <laughs> there... There is so many different agents out there that, that we, are, we come in all shapes and sizes, all different looks. It has nothing to do with how you look. It, it simply has to do with, with your personality uh, on camera. And if you can be dynamic in front of your clients, you know, when you're dealing with them on a day-to-day -day basis, you can be dynamic in front of a camera. It's, it's, just a, it's just a lens capturing who you are. And if you can just be yourself and dynamic, that's what people want. You know, they want you. They want you. And so absolutely, it's got nothing to do with, with um, how you look or, or what training I may have had. Of course, obviously, that helps. You know, it, it, it comes in handy for sure. But that's not a reason not to use video. Fantastic. Great. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us on the show and for sharing your, 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 you know, your wisdom. Everybody should go and check out your stuff, check out your website, because you demonstrate you know, some really, really great things. Um, and uh, I'd love for people to follow your leadership and, uh, and, and, and do those things as well. Uh, and um, 
you know, just just thank you very much for honoring us with uh, with your presence here. And uh, if there's anything that we can ever do for you, please let us know. But I'm sure uh, people that are watching this, you should go out and share this because this is va this is valuable from the heart type of stuff that anybody could do. Just go out there, provide value, get your camera. If you find something that's valuable and you have the opportunity to capture and share and it provides value to others, go do it. That's the way to go. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you know, go out there and build your brand, uh, build your tribe. That's that's what it's all about. Awesome. Thanks so much for being on the show. Everybody, thank you for watching the Michael Meyer show. Been another fun and you know entertaining and informative above everything else show. We look forward to seeing you next week, same time, Thursday, 430. And to everybody, have yourself a great Thursday. Have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. See you later. <laughs>